All right, my friend, welcome back to the next part in this Kajabi mini series. So today we're going to talk about the basics of creating an offer and just put, put very simply, an offer is simply the course or product that you want to sell plus a price that you want to sell it for, whether that's free or paid or whatever. So that's basically what an offer is. And it like offers are really flexible because you can have multiple offers per product. Maybe you want to sell a course and you want to sell it at one price at the beginning for intro pricing, and then you want to sell it for uh, the regular price later, I would set up two separate offers for that, but it's still selling the same course, right? So that's what you can see here. I have my course from passion to profit. I have two tiers. One is called premium and one is called standard. And you can see here the pricing is different. And I also two, I'll offer like two products versus one product. Uh, sorry, no, that's the quantity sold actually. The product is right here, but you can have multiple products per offer, which is what we'll cover in another video. But just to quickly show you within the offer level, what you can do here. So the actual title of the offer, you can write that. You can have an internal title for you to see, and then you can have the products that are included within the offer. You can always add more product access, post-purchase, where do you want them to go to? Here, I just have them go directly to the library so they can start you know, digesting it right away. And then in terms of automations, I have an automatic email that goes out that shares the exclusive bonuses if they purchase the premium option. And then I have a thank you email onboarding sequence that I send out as well. So instead of sending one single email, I subscribe them to an email sequence, which is my thank you email sequence for purchasing this course. Here up top, you have also other details, pricing, right? So the type of payment, how much you want the payment to be, and then, you know, pay what they want option is there too. You can connect Stripe and PayPal. Do you want to limit the offer availability? In my case, I didn't, right? And then you can have upsells as well, which is very, very important. And we'll cover this again in another video, but having upsells and downsells are very crucial in order to maximizing your revenue for one purchase. So that's very cool as well. And that's basically it. And then you have settings, Let's see what these are here. Right, so here you can set up cart abandonment emails, which is very powerful. Like if someone goes to the checkout page, but maybe they don't purchase, well, you can send them a reminder email automatically that says, oh, it looks like you were just about to purchase, but you didn't, would you like to, to purchase it now? And a percentage of those people will convert, which is always nice. But then here, what's really important is you can actually edit the checkout page directly, which is what I would highly recommend whenever you set up an offer. So here I have the picture of the offer and then I tell them all about it. You know, there's these modules, you'll get these bonuses, total value, yours today for only this much. And then here's my order bump, which again, we'll touch on a little bit later, but then you want them to enter in their information, right? So their payment details, card or PayPal, email address. And then it's always recommended to have terms and conditions as well. Um, as you can see, I've included mine here at the very bottom, but yeah, just, just customize your own offer to however you want to. But the, the main thing is just having the product itself, knowing exactly what you want to sell, but then also knowing how much you want to sell it for. And that's exactly what the offer is. And you can see it's really simple. So again, you can create the offer from scratch entirely from like on this page, the offers page, or when you're building that course, uh, you know, any digital product, you have the option to create and select the price that you want to sell it for. And that creates the offer for that as well. And here you can see that offer we created uh, earlier in a previous video, when we are going through how to create a course from scratch, this is the offer that came up, right? We said $50 and this is the test course itself. So that's basically offers really simple, but offers and products work hand in hand. You kind of need both in order to sell, but this is what it really is uh, coming down to. Actually, I take that back. Actually, you actually don't need products in order to sell with offers because you can actually create offers that are not attached to specific products, which is cool. So someone can purchase you for something that maybe sends them to an external link that maybe links them to another website or something. And it doesn't have to be a specific product that you built inside of Kajabi. So that is really cool to have that flexibility. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it. Creating offers is really simple in Kajabi. And again, if you want to try out the platform for yourself, uh, I would highly recommend using my 30 day free trial link down below ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi instead of the 14 day free trial they give you on their website. So you'll get more than double plus two bonus mini courses, Kajabi in 30 days and content marketing for creatives as a thank you for using my affiliate link. So I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. We'll go over another topic here in Kajabi's platform and I'll see you there.